Right. Looks to me like you're looking for some physics predictions. So we may as well get on with it. Now, for the ordinary level physics, here are some of the topics I would expect to see in the paper this year. Going in order of the most likely one down to the least likely one. Starting off with Newton and acceleration due to gravity. Then X-rays and types of radiation. Heat transfer, sound waves, electricity, voltage and wattage, uh, radioactivity, moments and equilibrium, nuclear fission, electromagnetic induction, momentum, mass and force, potential difference or capacitance, semiconductors in the PN junction, energy, resistance, and finally velocity and acceleration. They're some of the most likely topics to come up. Then for the experiments, there's two they haven't asked yet since the school course started, and they are to investigate the laws of equilibrium on a set of coplanar forces, um, to investigate the variation of current with potential difference for a conductor like a wire, um, to verify Snell's law. Oh no, sorry. So that's they're the two that haven't been asked yet. But the most likely experiments you might get go in this order: to verify Snell's law, to investigate variation in resistance of a wire with temperature investigate variation frequencies of a stretched string with length, to measure the focal length of a converging lens, to verify Boyle's law, to investigate the ver variation of current with potential difference for what's that, copper sulfate and copper electrodes. There we go. Uh, there's a few more then, like measuring the wavelength of monochromatic light, obtaining the calibration curve of a thermometer, verifying Joule's law, measuring the refractive index of a liquid and there are a few more than on that sheet as well and you can download this sheet in the information section of the video down below. Now let's get to the higher level. So in the higher level physics here are some of them. Um, you're obviously going to get your, cho your chosen elective option will come up of course. After that there's gravity and circular motion, capacitance, resistance, nuclear fission and fusion. Um, then topic number six on my list is electromagnetic induction. Then photoelectric emission. Number eight is pressure. Number nine is semiconductor and PN junction. Then waves and wave motion. Possibly sound frequencies and harmonies and radioactivity. Then for the experiments, there's still quite a few that haven't been asked on the higher level yet. Like the six of them. To measure the refractive index of a liquid, measure velocity or acceleration, to investigate the variation of current potential difference for a conductor like a wire. Um, measures the SHC of water using an electrical method or of a metal using an electrical method. And finally to obtain the calibration curve of a thermometer. So there's a possibility maybe one of them might come up this year. However, these ones are the most likely ones to come up on the paper. Firstly, to verify Joule's law, to investigate the laws of equilibrium for a set of coplanar forces. To investigate the variation of fundamental frequency of a stretched string with length. To investigate the relationship between period and length of a pendulum. To uh, what's this? Oh, yeah. investigate the variation of current with potential difference for a filament bulb. And to measure the speed of sound in air. They are the most likely ones to call. There's a few outsiders as well, like to determine the specific latent heat of the fusion of ice, specific heat capacity of water using copper, measure the focal length of a concave mirror, um, and you can just download the sheet to get the rest of them. So, all the best with that physics exam. Let's hope it goes well. But now that's all over I know I've been going out of my mind Running out of control It's been a long lonely road But I've walked it I have been told You're no good